Hello Collective, welcome back to my platform. Thank you for watching as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are appreciated. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender all negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white lights into all of you's lives. Stay in the highest of vibration always. Okay? Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All negative and evil plans of the enemies are being dismantled. I return to source. I return to sender. All negative energy and intent. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. I hope you all are doing a-okay. Staying blessed and highly favored. I don't know what just happened with my cars. Give me a second while I fix that, fix the situation. Here we go. Okay. Thank you for stopping by. Be sure to come back again. Let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on here. <clears throat> Source, what would you like us to be aware of? Please keep our hearts and mind pure and kind throughout this reading. Let us hear what you want us to hear and speak what you would like us to. Okay? We have this <laughs> we have the seven of swords out here. Someone could be exposed for oh someone is exposed for trying to steal something, block someone tear someone down, destroy someone. There's something being exposed. This could be not just one person, but uh, uh, actually a group of people. Someone who had tried to pay to have someone come to your house and do you something, like get you out of this planet and things of their nature. There was some type of plan to rob you, either to rob you of your health, rob you of your wealth, rob you of your life, your freedom, your stability, your joy, your happiness, kind of just rob you of everything. For someone, I'm hearing that a masculine was supposed to break into your home and do you something, not take you out, but they were going to do you something so bad that you would have been wishing you were not here anymore, okay? But just know that you are protected, you are loved, you are cherished by the Most High. There will and there is divine interference going on. If this is for future terms, there will be divine interference, intervention taking place. So do not lose any sleep um about this it's all being taken care of there could have been something where people were trying to get you stuck in some type of toxic situation like buying you to some type of contract something of that nature some type of financial contract where you would have to be paying money out to these people this was a plan by an institution a de devious institution that thought that they were going to block your new oh yes they were trying to bind you lord have mercy they were trying to bind you into, into some type of contract to block your forward movement. They don't want you having a new beginning in life, okay? And that's just not how it's going to happen. They took some type of risk. I don't know if they took the right risk, obviously, because it's not going to be happening. They took some type of risk, some type of action to try and bind you, but all they really did was bind them to a contract and expose them as thieves okay for some of you this is what people are planning for you to come and break into your home into your life in some way someone gives access to these people in some way shape or form um someone close to you give access to these people and they've been abusing it for a long time so whatever this plan is which is to either have you out in the streets have you unemployed whatever it is sources already taking care of it there, yeah, this was hidden. You figured something out that was hidden. You were not supposed to figure out that there was a whole collaboration going on around you. Okay? You were not supposed to figure out that someone in your very close proximity, right? Someone close to you, right in front of you, was the one doing all of this, orchestrating all of this, had betrayed you. You were not supposed to figure that out. But you know okay you know and people are probably confused with the fact that you figured this out or you already knew and maybe you just sat back and let them 
carry out their malicious plans because you already knew it was not going to come into fruition. But these people wanted to bind you so badly, so tightly, that you will be living in fear, not knowing which way to go, not knowing which action to take, and things of that nature. For some of you, these people still think that they have a plan, the perfect plan to bind you, but it's not going to be happening. These people have binded themselves to something that they cannot get out of. Some of these people have legal issues coming in, and this is what they don't see, they don't understand, okay? Someone has trapped themselves in some type of what institution marriage whatever this is someone has trapped themselves they want out they don't know how to get out of here they feel trapped someone is going through like some type of dark night of the soul but they don't even know how to initiate that because they feel bounded someone was supposed to have like a brand new passionate beginning but they took some type of action that led to them being bind but they thought they were helping bind you Okay, there could be a masculine that's trapped somewhere he does not want to be. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Someone could be trapped in a marriage. Some could be someone could be trapped with an institution. It's different for everybody, but just know that all of these people are exposed, going through some type of ending and humbling experience. Whatever they thought was hidden, it's not hidden. You know, people know. The people that are supposed to know, know already, okay? They think that, for some of you, they think that when you leave to have your new beginning, they're going to come and bring problems to you. It's not going to go according to plan. I'm telling you, you're still going to have wish fulfillment. Some of these people are also upset that they know whoever they are trying to keep binded to them has... Like, he, they see you as wish fulfillment or something of that nature. We're going to focus on you, Collective, because these karmics, we're going to let them keep karmic him, keep fighting behind the scenes. That's their business. They made their beds. Let them lay in it. They, they dug their own graves. They are going to lay in those graves, okay? Right. So, you, Collective, you are moving forward to wish fulfillment, your enemies thought that they were coming in to steal something from you, block you, and they got exposed. Someone thought they were going to come and steal from you and just sneak away from it, from there, do something, do you something, like break into your home and do you something, and then just leave. But they're exposed, okay? Meanwhile, you're moving on, having a brand new passionate beginning. You're not trapped in your mind, right? They wanted you to feel like you were binded somewhere, binded to something, but they didn't see something. It's going to go in your favor. Whatever they were planning is going in your favor. You still have wish fulfillment. They thought it was a secret. It's not. the secret. What they don't really see is that you are still coming out on top in this situation. You still get wish fulfillment. You still get wish fulfillment. This is what they were not counting on. They thought they had all their ducks lined up. When you are a thief... You hardly ever have your ducks lined up. When you are trying to steal from someone, if you had some type of malicious plan, you hardly ever have your duck lined up because why? Your intentions are not pure, so you're always going to miss something. There's, you have ulterior motives. So the reason why you're doing something is not genuine. So the plan you're coming up with, nine times out of ten times, you're going to miss something, and that thing that you missed is what's going to seal your fit. So whatever they were planning is not happening. They need to move on, walk away. It looks like this is what they're going to have to do. These people were trying to manifest endings for you, but they ended up manifesting endings for themselves. Okay? Someone may have taken... Someone took some type of impulsive action to do you something. It's like to bring you some type of legal issues, to bind you to something, end you keep you mentally trapped, keep you confused and things of that nature, and it's just not happening. Meanwhile, this is the energy they're finding themselves in, and they're finding out that you're still going to have wish fulfillment out of all, after all of this. They're pissed off. You know they're pissed off. As we like to say on this platform, the karmics are fighting. You know they are pissed off and, yes, living in fear, anxiety. Someone is trying to hide 
You're now trying to distance themselves from this situation. You can't. It's too late. Excuse me while I take a sip of my vibe. It's too late to distance yourself. You have to eat your humble pie. You have to lay in that grave that you dug for yourself thinking you were digging it for someone else because you're so malicious. You have to lay in that bed that you made for someone else. They didn't need a bed from you. Absolutely everyone will be serving their karma. That is judgment and it's final. Okay? It is absolutely final. These people want you living in a deplorable state. They may have told people that some of you have mental illnesses, you're delusional, schizophrenic, all kinds of stuff. And they said, why are you going to this extensive length to smear someone's character, to destroy another person? And this had to do with finances. Some of you, there are people around you that have been paid to block your forward movement, but to do it in a nice way. So they come to you smiling every day. I'm telling you, they come to you smiling every day, acting like they're celebrating with you, right? They're working with, working along with you, but these very people can't even stand to be around you because you're a positive energy and most of these people are on heal. So your healing energy bothers them. But in a weird and airy way, eerie way, they want to use your healing energy, your positive energy to manifest things in their life, but they cannot. That's not how it works. You have cones around you, a bunch of raccoons around you, and these are people you will not expect. Sometimes you see these people and you say, oh, that looks at someone that someone that have self-respect for themselves. They don't. They accept their bribery behind the scenes to block your forward movement. This is what they all do. This is what they've been doing. Someone out there, you are surrounded by wolves in sheep clothing. You show up to either school, church, or work every day. And they're smiling in your faces, making it seem like they're trying to work with you. They're not. They were paid to do that. They don't like you. They can't even stand to be in your energy. It bothers them. Okay? You are still moving forward. We don't care what bothers these people because they made their beds and they're going to lay in them. We don't care what bothers them. You're going to have wish fulfillment. You're going to be celebrating. Whatever the enemy stole from you is being returned to you as we speak. There is a reason why I said those statements when I open my read. I return to source. I return to sender or negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. Anything the enemy has stolen from you is being returned to you as we speak. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are dismantled. Take power back. Take charge of your life. You be the authority in your life. Okay? Call justice in your life. You are in the upright. So you have the right to call judgment. And make sure that things go in your favor. Your abundance is yours. I'm telling you. Someone knows there are two things going on here. Someone, people know that you are genuine. You didn't do anything to them. All they're doing this for is money. That's all it is at the end of the day. Money, jealousy, insecurities, jealousy, envy. That's all it is. I can list everything, but at the end of the day, it has to do with money and jealousy, insecurities, people that are unhealed and don't want to do the work to heal. That's all it has to do with. I don't know who you are that's commented that you don't like my tune. I don't give a crap you don't like my tune. Go watch something else. I really don't care. You're far too old to be caring how people to do their work. If you don't care, like how someone works, how they talk, Go somewhere else. This is someone or a group of people that know that you are genuine. You didn't do anything to these people. You are innocent. But someone, a group of people binded themselves to a contract. They took some type of bribery. So they're forced to fulfill the contract. So they have to keep coming after you. 
even though they know it's not going anywhere. For some of you, this is someone from your past that betrayed you in the past, maybe wanting to now return to you, but they cannot because they did something that was unforgivable. Yeah, they want to seal the karma waters with you. We wish them healing, but there is no a reconciliation between you and this person to the point where you two are getting back together, whether this is a friend or an ex-partner. We wish all of these people healing because everyone deserves healing. These people don't even know they're suffering. We should never be this greedy in life that we want to take someone out for money. That's alarming. You're sailing on the karma waters. You're moving on with your life. You get to move on. And these people get to serve their karma. And it's essential that they serve it because this is how they're going to heal. How else are they going to learn? They're not going to learn their lesson if they get a pat on the hand every time they do something. The Most High is not patting you. The Most High is not a patter. You have to learn your lesson. That's the rules of the matrix. You have to learn your lesson. That's universal law when it comes to incarnating. You have to learn your lesson. We all have to learn lessons. This is why we incarnate. If you're not learning a lesson, you're going to keep repeating that grade until you pass that grade. That's how it's set up. Okay? They try to steal from a genuine person. They all know you're genuine. They all know you're innocent. You didn't do anything to these people. But they all grouped up and decided to come steal from you, block you, hurt you, destroy you. And they're finding out no matter what they do, it's still going to go in your favor. You're still going to be connecting with someone genuine and you all will, you two will still be moving on. Okay? This could also not be someone that you dated or had a friendship with. This is someone that knows you, but you don't know them very well. They are aware of you. You may be connecting with this person and you all may be relocating or something like that and that's for someone specific and there's absolutely nothing anyone can do to block that you will be moving on you are moving on they know that you know that everybody knows that so at this point every action you're taking is just out of desperation they're desperate but you're still moving on For someone out there, you are in an environment and you're being told to move. You need to move. You know you're not safe. You know people are trying to do you something. Take actions to move. Whatever limitations you have, you need to look into your options. The Most High has already put something in place for you to receive. To ensure that your journey is safe and insured and secure. You have set limitations for yourself in your mind. Let it go. You need to learn how to trust the most high. Take action when they tell you to take action and go. You're not in a safe environment. You're surrounded by wolves pretending to be sheep. Okay? They've taken those uh, uh, wolves and put it around themselves, but you can still see those whiskers sticking out. Those slanted eyes are still out. Yeah, you need to go. You need to move. Anyways, you are going to be sailing onto Karma Waters Collective. You will be receiving some type of either promotion because you are someone that's committed to what you do. So you're going to be receiving some type of elevation, some type of new position, something of that nature. Immediately when you get to your new beginning, you're going to have some type of new work opportunity available to you. And you're going to be very much respected in this position, in this company, because they know how committed you are. They know you are loyal. They know you know what you're doing. You're going to have respect. There are companies that some of you worked for in the past. They knew you were valuable, but because of jealousy and insecurity, they tried to downplay you so you felt insecure and things like that and acted like you didn't know a thing you were talking about. But little did you know, the people you were around didn't know what they were doing, but pretending like they did. They thought if they manipulated you in a way to make you feel less than them, then they were in the clear. 
they were better than you. No, they weren't. People that are from like an older generation, this is something they do. Not all of them, but a lot of them do this. When they feel insecure around other energies, that's what they do. They start manipulating. They want you to feel insecure because they are insecure. They like the skills that they need to actually do their jobs. So they find shortcuts instead of actually learning how to do the job. Let's say like technology. Some of these people, let's say the, uh, Excel spreadsheets, right? Let's say you, you're working under someone that does not know how to use that. Instead of them saying they don't know how to use that or actually taking the time to learn how to use Excel, they will pretend like they know how to use it. Meanwhile, you know how to use Excel and they know that. But when they come to you and see you using Excel, they're going to say, oh, that's not how you do that. Oh, that's not how you do that. I'll show you an easier way to do it, but they never will. Why? Because they don't know how to. That's the kind of mind game some of these people play out here from the older generation. They don't know what they're doing. They like the necessary skills to adapt to the new era. So instead of them learning how to adapt, acquiring new skills to improve themselves, they manipulate. They pretend like they know what they're doing. And the whole time they're wasting your time, their time, their time is irrelevant because they don't value your time, but you value your time. But they're willing to waste you and their time. They say, you can waste your time, don't waste mine. I'm not here to pretend with you. If I don't, me, someone like me, if I don't know how to do something, I don't care who I'm talking to. I'm going to tell you, I don't know how to do that. Can you show me? I don't care how you look at me. I don't have time to be pretending to be something I'm not. Before I knew how to use Excel, I was working at a job. I didn't know how to use Excel extensively. Like I was proficient in it, but not advanced. And there was a guy at corporate. I had been in this company for a long, for a while. And one day there was a guy at corporate talking to me. We were going over like some spreadsheets. Uh, uh, it had to do with like, uh, um, uh, 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 like uh, some type of, uh, um, we were doing like a, a, some healthcare companies use agencies and things like that. And we had to do spreadsheets to allocate all of the money that we were going to them, right? Per, per location. So I was doing it from my location. And I think I did something on the spreadsheet that messed up the formula. I wasn't very well uh, uh, familiar with Excel because I hardly ever had to use it before that position. Right, I learned how to use Excel previously, but I didn't use it frequently, so I wasn't familiar with it. Uh, I started off at one location, was transferred to another location, and when the guys took over that position, would you believe that he actually got on the phone with me and showed me what to do? I didn't care to pretend because what's the point? I'm not going to learn if I'm pretending to know something. I want to learn it. I don't care about being embarrassed. Right? I don't care about being embarrassed. I don't care about none of that. What you think of me, that's your business. It's not going to put a, a dime in my bank account. Okay? But it took this guy to show me how to. Meanwhile, I had a whole supervisor that was over me. Clean to know how to use Excel. Never could show me how to. Right, but it took someone in higher ups to make a phone call to talk to me so I could tell him, Hey, how do I do this? And I didn't even I don't even think I had to ask him. He just called, he said, Hey, let me show you how to do this. This is what you do, this is what you do here, this is what you put here. And from that, I learned how to use it. I mean, like you have to be grateful for people like that that will take time to show you something instead of the other people that will pretend to know how to use something or do something, but they don't know how to do it the whole time. Why not just learn the skills? This is the situations a lot of you are coming out of and you don't realize that. You are around people that don't know what they're doing, but they're pretending that they know what they're doing, but uh, 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 slandering you, making you feel like you're less than, but you're not. You know more than these people do. 
and you're probably possibly probably catching them in lies and they don't know that it's embarrassing but you are going into a company or a position where you will be valued your worth will be seen the things you have to say will matter because they do this is a brand new beginning for you you will be receiving an opportunity in work where you will be cherished, valued, admired because you put in the effort to learn and perfect your skills instead of pretending like you know what you're doing. Excuse me. I'm struggling with my cards again. It's, stuff like that is so agitating, I'm telling you. It is so agitating. When you are around people that don't know what they're doing and you know they don't know what they're doing but they want to act like they know what they're doing, but have the audacity to act like they know what they're doing and they're better than you. Man, will you sit down? Will you sit down? Have several seats and humble yourself. Just like I'm humbling myself. I'm telling you. Someone cannot bind you to whatever delusional dreams they have. Someone is delusional enough to believe that they're coming from your past to have some type of reconciliation with you. This could be someone you dated. You're not. Someone bonded themselves to some type of situation with a group of people. They thought they were having a brand new passion in the beginning with someone that was better than you, but they found out that person was not better than you. They thought someone was committed, someone knew what they were doing, someone was business savvy, someone was loyal. No. They thought someone knew what they were doing, so they chose someone else over you. They don't. Never did. This person is just toxic. Not compassionate, not a healer, not gifted, not a dreamer. Has no type of creativity spark. Nothing. And they're finding that out. Like, oh, I chose the wrong person. You Damn, Skippy, you did. You did. It will not be with someone from your past. This is why this thing of cuts in the reverse is here. You will not be reconciling with anyone from your past romantically. Whoever you're meant to be uh, uh, getting with is your higher level soulmate. And this is not someone you've dated before, so they're not from your past. Okay? Sorry to be letting off my steam, but there are little things that they give me. That's like one of my pet peeves. Is someone pretending to do, to know something, be something that they're not? Why? Why do that? You're wasting my time. Stop wasting my time. Yeah, there is no reconciliation between you and this person, and that's judgment. It's been decided. This person betrayed you in the past. They cannot come back now and say, oh, you know, I'm so sorry. I tried to have you out of here. I had. I tried to have you gone. I tried to destabilize you in every way, shape, and uh, form. I tried to tell people that you were delusional. You, know, you didn't know what you were talking about. You were mentally ill and unstable. I was trying to hide that. For some of you, your ex had a baby by someone else. I was trying to hide the fact that I had a baby by someone. So, you know, I, I told a lie and I had to keep the lie going. Someone basically, they cannot reconnect with you if they don't tell the truth. They have to come clean, but this person is incapable of coming clean. They're trapped where they are and you're moving on. Your ancestors are like, oh, no, the past is not an option. You need to keep it pushing. We already told you that you're not confused. This person is trying to confuse you. Okay? move on you some of you need to learn to stop looking to the past for closure whatever you're looking for from the past the past is in the past for a reason move forward there are nine billion people on the planet and some of you act like the one person that you broke up with you've been with them since your childhood since high school since middle school like that's the only person in the world if someone is treating you dirty you find out that someone is only with you for money or was only with you for money. Why would you keep being with that person? You know someone does not love you, does not care about you. They're only with you for money. They're not trying to help you elevate in life or nothing. Why stay with that person? Why? 
there are billions of people in the world and I guarantee you that some of them are way more genuine than the person you are with, worth way more in morals and ethics than the person you are with. But because you've chosen to settle for these types of people, someone has groomed you to be their guinea pig. They said, oh, I'll be back, he'll be there. I'll be back, she'll be there. I've cheated on him 10,000 times. I've cheated on her 10,000 times. All I have to go is do it. All I have to do is buy some roses and give it to them. They'll take it. We'll be back together. Someone is a habitual cheater, liar, and someone keeps taking them back. That's because you're dealing with insecurities. You don't see the value in yourself. Someone has programmed you to believe that you need them when in reality, they need you. Someone could be trying to blackmail a masculine to stay with them. Honey, I've said it on this channel before. There is nothing you can blackmail me about that's going to make me want to stay with you. That's going to trap me with you. I don't care. Go and announce it on top of Mount Everest if you want to. Mount Kilimanjaro. Go to the Himalayas. Go announce it wherever you want to. Take a speaker with you. An intercom with you. Take whatever you need to with you so that the more people can hear you. The more they hear you, the better. I don't give two cents. Okay? I don't know why you all give people power over your lives. Stop giving people power over your lives. Stop giving people power over your lives. Stop giving your power to material things. This is why we have this situation going because people are greedy. This is all because of greed. This is why they're trying to block some type of connection from taking place because someone is greedy. Someone is selfish and superficial. They don't want two people coming together. They don't want two people working together because those two people are going to be abundant. Stop attaching your value to material things. Stop letting people tell you how much you're worth or what you're worth. Stop letting people think that they control your path, your destiny. They don't. It don't matter what you are, what size you are, what shape, what you look like, how much you have in your bank account, what you did what with, who you did what with. Do not let anyone have that kind of power over you where they can tell you, if you go to this person, I'm going to show this to the community, uh, community or I'm going to tell them you did this last week. You slept with me last week and now you want to go to them. Who cares? Who cares? Tell them to do whatever they want. Do whatever you want to do. Oh, when they find out you did this before, they're not going to want to be with you. That is an insecure or an un unhealed person as heck. You know they're desperate when they're doing that. You want to tell me because I want to leave, now you want to blackmail me? You know what? Come on. I'll pay for your transportation to get to Mount Everest. Come here. I'll pay for your transportation to get to the Himalayas to get to that country. Now, when you get to the mountain, you're going to have to walk up that mountain. I can't help you with that because I'm not walking up no mountains, especially when it's cold. Oh, no, honey. I can't help you with that. But I will pay you a plane ticket so you can get to that country and go up those mountains. Make sure you carry your speaker and your intercom with you so the whole world can hear you. And when you come back down, look at me and tell me if I look like I give a damn. Someone is with a toxic energy and they've manifested, this person has manifested a whole new twin flame, a love connection, and they're still stuck with this toxic person because they are afraid. They are afraid of leaving this toxic energy because they don't think the next situation is going to be prosperous. So they're keeping themselves in a toxic situation. My friend, I don't know what to tell you, whoever this is. But you have to either go to some type of counseling or you need to heal, remove yourself from this situation. The, the decision by your ancestors and the universe has been for you to remove yourself from this toxic and karmic situation. Whoever you are with is not you, is not willing to do the work to heal, so they will not be doing that. They don't have any good intentions for you. Move on. Someone is gaslighting you and playing with your emotions. One minute they like you, the next minute they don't. 
someone has never liked you, never loved you. You may be financially secure. That's why this person has been with you. But they never liked you or loved you. They probably even told people that and you don't know it. And you're showing up every day, breaking your back, working hard to provide for this person, giving them money, all kinds of stuff. And they're busy telling people they don't even like you like that. But you secure them. You give them a lifestyle they cannot afford by themselves. So that's why they are with you. Make it make sense? It never will. You're busy committed. <laughs> you got them in a beautiful energy and they don't even care. Is that okay? He gives me whatever I want. You know, I, I just, all I have to do is just, you know, kiss him on the neck, make his plate, and he forgives me. And then she's going to go back to go cheating. I don't get it. I don't understand how someone can cheat on you and you take them back. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you're new to my platform, let me tell you now. The moment I find out you cheated, we're done. There is no getting back together. We don't need to be friends. We are not friends forever. Nothing. I don't care. We are done. Best friend forever, reconciliation, closure. I don't need none of that. You stay where you are. You made the decision. Because why? Cheating. Cheating is not an accidental thing. It thinks it's a thought process. There's thinking involved in there. I'm with this person here. I am with this other person in this room. You first had to get in your car, turn on the car, drive to the location to meet with the person. All that time you were driving, there were thoughts in your head that you were going the wrong direction and you still went that direction. Then you get to the location, right, with the person in the room. You have to make effort to take your clothes off to get with that person, right? So all of that requires thinking, okay? And you still went through with it. So it is not accidental. That's not something to forgive. That is not a mistake. A mistake is someone forgetting to take the trash out. A mistake is someone wearing their shirt inside out. A mistake is someone forgetting to brush their hair. Or someone forgetting to say hello when they enter a room. That's a mistake. Cheating is never a mistake. It's planned out. People that believe that it's, it was a mistake, those are people with lo that are insecure, low self-esteem. If someone can cheat on you and tell you they're sorry and you take them back, that says a lot more about you than it does about that person. That says way more about you than it says about that person. But whoever you are that's trapped, just know that there are things being done in the higher realm to remove you from that situation. And you need to be taking actions as well. Silently to free yourself from that situation because it's not going to get any better. Something has been exposed to you and that is what it is. It's the truth. Stop second guessing yourself. Move on. Move on. For someone you work with the person, you committed to someone, you committed to someone uh, 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 at work and they're playing you like a tuba. Someone is playing you like a tuba at work, a flute. They're with you and cheating with another person at work in the very community you two are in. Make it make sense. Whoever thought they were going to have wish fulfillment at the expense of another person is not happening. It is not happening. Someone's divine masculine fell from grace. Oh, Lord. This message is heavy. Someone's divine masculine has fallen from grace because this person let money get to their head. They were offered some type of money to do something to their partner their divine partner, and they accept their bribery. So these two will not be coming together. Thank you. They will not be coming together. Because someone took the wrong route. They took the wrong route. And someone, they feel burdened by that. Someone has 
lost their uh, uh, spiritual gifts in a situation, someone has lost a lot. It's like someone has lost access to either their people in the spirit realm because they feel a mission, a contract. They, they, they dishonor a contract with their soul twin for money. There's a couple here that's also going through some type of ending. The truth is being seen about them. They've been out here pretending to be genuine people, but behind the scenes, they've been taking actions to block someone's forward movement. They're very committed. Very committed, and they're being exposed. They're not genuine. They've been trying to block someone's resources, someone forward movement. Yeah, blocking resources. This is a toxic couple. The feminine energy in this within this group, this karmic couple, whatever, this woman is toxic as can be. Someone has trapped themselves. This is someone that overindulges in money, has been bribing people behind the scenes. It's a hey. Yeah, it's all of us. They're not telling the new people that they're bribing other people. We all know the truth about this person. They're not genuine. We need you to uh, 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 collaborate with us so we can show that they're not true. They're not genuine. Here's $200. And the, the new idiot takes the money. Not realizing that they're being led to the slaughterhouse. Meanwhile, you are in your privileged energy moving on with your life. Your new beginning is insured. I don't know how grown-ups have this amount of time on their hands to be plotting and planning like this against two people or even just one person. How do a group of people come together and no one has enough sense to say this is stupid? Because there's money involved, so no one's going to see that it's stupid. And there, a couple in here, when all of this is over, they're going to sit back and realize they bankrupt themselves. Coming after an energy that you have left alone. They bankrupt themselves. There's a couple that could be renting like an apartment in a whole different state and city. Just so they can interfere with someone's life. Parking up the street right from you. Just so they can interfere with someone's life. Is that we're going to make sure that if he's coming to this person's house, we can interfere before they get to their house. You can do all of that, but that's not how those two are supposed to meet. So you're wasting your time. If you're driving from a whole other state to come to another state to block two people from coming together, you're wasting your time. You are wasting your time and your money and your gas. Because... I guarantee you that's not how that connection is meant to come together. But this is how karmics think. They think they're, they are ahead of the game, but they don't realize they're working against themselves. So we're going to buy an apartment right down from her or from him. And when the other one decides to come over to me, we're going to go interfere and call the police so we can cause a scene because we don't want them getting together. And sources say you're stupid. Well, that's dumb. How long are you going to be hiding? He said, we're going to follow her around. We're going to follow him around. If they go to Schnucks, we go to Schnucks. If they go to Trader Joe's, we go to Trader Joe's. Yeah, you're going to have to leave this situation so you can heal, sir. This message must be about you. Because you're the only uh, court card, the solid court card out here that I'm seeing. The King of Cups. You need to remove yourself from bondage, bondage, whether it's in a career, a relationship, wherever you are in. Remove yourself so you can heal. You feel trapped in here. You're being told to remove yourself or you are being removed from a situation so you can heal. Okay? So you can heal.
You want to recover your relationship or connection with someone. I don't know if this is someone you dated, whatever it is. But you are being removed from this toxic situation so that you can heal. Because you need it. You let yourself down. There is no one to blame but you. I don't know if you're sitting back and saying you were misled, you were betrayed, you were whatever. You cannot blame it on anyone. Everyone is responsible for themselves when it comes to their mental, their journey. You are on a solo journey. When you are done with this journey and you go back to the spirit realm and the council are asking you questions, you cannot say, I did A because Johnny told me to. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought we gave you a brain to think for yourself. I thought we gave you a mouth to speak for yourself. You are an individual on this level. On, on a cosmic level, we are one. But on this level here, we're individuals. And you are responsible for your solo journey. What you do and don't do. What you participate in and what you don't participate in. You cannot come to someone and say, oh, they manipulated me. That's why I did it. No. Especially when you're showing up in a King of Cups energy, you're mature enough to know the right thing, to do the right thing, to know better. You're old enough to know better. So you can't come and say, oh yeah, I'm so sorry I did this because uh, they told me you were this. They told me you did that. And it'll be like, uh, okay, but you're a grown person. You are a grown ASS man. So what are you trying to tell me? Am I supposed to be there? Oh my gosh. I am so sorry they told you that about me. This is you, Collective. I am so sorry they told you that about me. I don't know why they would do that. I can understand why you would, you know, get involved in something like that. Uh, it's like, no. All you had to do was pick up a phone and call. All you had to do was ask questions. Some of you were around these people all they had to do was ask you, hey, did you do this? No. Hey, did you steal this money? No. Hey, did you say this about this person? No. But they didn't do that because most of these people refuse to use their brain cells for themselves. Some of them said they feel confined to situations. I didn't have any choice but to do it. You always have a choice, but when you give your power away, that's when you feel like you don't have a choice. Someone can come in and say, hey, if you don't do this, I'm going to take your privileges away. Some of these people are attached to an institution that has a lot of financial benefits to them, and that's why they're willing to participate in stupid things, only to realize they're binding themselves. This is how you got bonded to a situation, whether it's marriage or institution. There were financial benefits. This institution has a lot of money, but they don't give to the community. They keep it to them for themselves. They, they spread it out amongst each other. It's that you get two million, I get five million, you get three million. What about the community? What community? They don't care. There's an institution that is a freaking facade. They don't care about the people that they're supposed to be serving. They're greedy as heck. And someone attached themselves to a community because of finances and they're finding out the hard way that money should never be your motivation. They trap themselves. And now they want to come to you and you may be in a, uh, excuse me, what do you want kind of energy. You may have a sore pulled out at them because you know what they participated in. Yes, honey, you have your sore pulled out at this person. You said, cut the bull crap. Don't come in here sugarcoating anything. I already know what you did. I understand you want to reconcile. You want to have closure, whatever it is you want to call it. But don't BS me around. Say what you had to say. I'm listening. But I will cut you off if I need to. You cannot put up your responsibilities on other people. When it comes to your actions, you always have to take responsibility for your actions. Because of money, you decided to go participate in something. Now that it didn't go in the favor of the people you were collaborating with, you want to come back and we'll give excuses. We don't have time for excuses. You're too grown for that. You need to move on so you can heal. I keep being told to tell you that. 
move on so you can heal. They don't people need, these people don't understand how this new beginning is still happening because they cause so much chaos and conflict in the situation. They still don't understand how it's going to be happening. Someone here does not know that people are working against them or were working against them. This woman, whoever this woman of honor is, honor, high class, whatever you want to call it. This is someone that is toxic and has been paying people behind the scenes to block someone's healing, someone's recovery, to block some type of reconciliation between two people, causing a lot of conflict. Someone is playing some type of devil's advocate, but the only person they're advocating for is themselves because there's financial gain on the line for them. They could be in this masculine's ear telling them all kinds of stuff and the masculine is listening because they refuse to think for themselves. They don't realize that someone is taking action to block their forward movement, block recovery, block a healing opportunity for them. And they think someone is advocating for them. Make it make sense. Excuse me while I take a sip of my Bible again. You're out here falling from grace and everything because of money and your association with a certain person or group. And you don't realize that. Yeah. Honey. <laughs> someone has been working hard to block the truth from being exposed. Someone does not want someone to be protected as well. They've managed to get someone to fall from grace. They want to dismantle your protection, star sea, collective, soul trap, whoever you are. They want to block your protection. You are heavily protected. They don't want someone to heal. They don't want someone to receive what's theirs. They're intervening with something, but trying to make it seem like it's divine intervention. It's not. Someone has their hands in the pot. They're staring that pot in their favor and they don't realize they're setting themselves up for an ending and they're going to have to answer for everything someone thinks that all of their actions are hidden they've paid people enough money to shut their mouths but the very people that they've been paying will be exposing them so it's that thank you for the free money but i'm not going to prison for you Yeah. Oh, what? 25 years? Oh, 10 years? You mean two? I can do two years for doing that? But that's... Oh, nah. We can talk. I'll tell you what's going on. Mm-mm. It was her. She paid... Listen. People are about to be giving information like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. Shit. I'm not serving 10 years for that. Nah, she gave me $50,000 to say that. People are about to be sinking like a canary. Canary. There is something about a king of cups. You fell from grace because you bonded yourself to a situation or to someone that you should have never bonded yourself to. You took the wrong turn. I'm telling you, you made the wrong turn. You de you decided to betray your counterpart, a queen of cups. You betrayed a queen of cups. You knew this person was genuine, and you still took action to betray them because there was money on the line. You thought you had partnered up with the right party to steal what belongs to this person, but you realize now this person is still receiving what's theirs, and now you want to return. You want to heal things. This is for someone specific. You're a queen of cups, and someone betrayed you for money. Someone from an institution approached them to lie, and they lied, and they were paid a good amount of money to keep their mouth shut. Now they know that what's yours is still coming to you, so they want to come back towards you and you, but they're binded to a situation. For someone out there specifically, either your baby daddy, your boyfriend, your husband, whoever the heck it is, left you while they were with you. Meaning you two were still in a relation, a strong connection, and this person went and cheated, had a baby, 
Turn out the baby is not theirs. So they're heartbroken. They feel trapped in a situation. Someone found out that a child was not theirs. Or they are uh, they are about to. Because now they found out about this betrayal, they want to return to you so you two can heal things. I think not. You got to be uh, uh, effed up in the mind if you think that's going to be happening. You got to do time in spiritual jail. This is a court proceeding, sir. You have been sentenced to exile from this Queen of Cups. You two cannot connect, whoever that is. We wish you healing. We wish you a safe and hopefully speedy recovery. But it will not be with the Queen of Cups. This Queen of Cups has a whole new divine partner coming their way. Someone that's not easily bought. Someone that's not for sale. Come on now. Someone that does not give their pack pack to everybody. And then try to act like they are a respectable person. You betray your counterpart. You had a, I'm telling you, you betray a star seed, someone genuine, got it by the universe, someone positive, a healer. Oh, sir, there will be no reconciliation. You have got to move on and serve your spiritual sentence. You will be incarnating for another lifetime to work up this karma. You got to do time for that. Come on. Someone wants to call you and tell you, hey, I know I betray you, but this heifer tricked me. She told me she had a baby and said, oh, what does this have to do with me? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I have moved on with my life. <laughs> Collective, this is you. What I'm trying to figure out is how you got a hold of my number, email, whatever this is. Wh why are you telling me this? This doesn't have nothing to do with me. Uh, congratulations on your baby. That's not yours. Goodbye. Someone is hiding. Someone is hiding. Someone is also hiding their emotions, right? Someone is hiding their emotions behind the scenes. They're acting like they don't give a damn about you. They say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I already told you I don't really care. She's not worth it. I don't think about her. Blah, 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 blah. But someone is dying on the inside because they know they're trapped where they are. They cannot come towards you. It's a donor. Meanwhile, you made the decision to move on with your life. And a new person is coming towards you to have a healthy connection with you. I mean, please. And yeah, he got betrayed by a queen of cups. He thought he had chosen the right person. And it's not going on. Someone made the decision to betray another person. And they're receiving karma for that. They went after lust. Maybe whoever they went. I'm telling you, this person is wearing a mask. They are wearing a mask. They have a lot of emotions. And they're hiding it from people. They're hiding it. They said, don't look at me now. Oh, my eyes are too red. You're going to ask questions. If you ask questions, I'm just going to tell you they're allergies. Allergies where? My friend, what are you talking about? What allergies? You barely go outside. Someone betrayed you just to be betrayed by the person they chose over you. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you. Someone is going through heartache, but they're trying to hide it, trying to cause illusions because they want the message that they... Oh, Lord. They... Laura, the message doesn't even want to come out. I can't even get it out. Someone is basically pretending that they are okay, but they have fallen and they can't get up. That's what it is. They're trying to cause illusions, but they can't. And they can't come towards you and cause you illusions. They can't manipulate you. Maybe they used to could be do, able to do that, but they can't anymore. So they can't come towards you and be like, hey! <laughs> No, you have it all wrong. You have it all wrong. No, 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 no. That's not what happened. I didn't sleep with anyone. They slept with me. I I I I didn't take their clothes off. They took my clothes off. They said, oh, okay. That's kind of the same thing. 
what the heck are you trying to say? Let's see, I have to add some dry humor to this stuff because we have to add humor to life. That's how things go by a little bit easier. It makes things fun. But can you imagine someone cheating on you and then telling you, I didn't cheat. I didn't cheat with her. She cheated with me. I didn't sleep with her. She slept with me. It's like, uh, what? Like, are you okay? Wink twice if you're okay. Did all your screws fall out? Like, where, where did they fall out so we can fix them? We can gather them, clean them, and put them back up. Screw them back in. Someone cannot cause illusions anymore. Someone cannot come in and tempt you. They know that. Someone cannot be forced anymore. They're being forced to heal and grow the heck up. So they're going through a healing process, basically. They're being refined. Someone has had to learn a lesson in the hard way, and now they're having some type of new beginning in life. They have better control of themselves. This could have been someone that was loose and sleeping around with multiple partners, but they've learned some type of hard lesson and they're having to heal. They can't cause illusions anymore. And someone knows if they want to come towards you to heal things, oh, they have to be genuine, genuine. They have to be true. Someone has to be true with you. And they may not even be at that point yet to be able to do that. Where you have a divine partner coming in, a new offer, and that person is you, it's worth your time, and it's a rude awakening for this person that cannot come towards you. Is that mm 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 mm? You made your choice. I think that's the best option for you. You knew what was right for you. You chose that person. You knew that was the right person for you. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. I'm telling you, they're not happy. <laughs> Who? Someone is not happy with the final decision. You don't want to connect with this person? Uh-uh. They're not happy about that. You're like, nah, I'm good. You knew what was best for you, so we're going to leave it at that. Don't second guess yourself now. You're good. You did the right thing. Thank you. If you had not betrayed me so badly... I wouldn't be who I am today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Listen, higher level soul may come in, honey. Equal give and take. Success in life, love, business, family. A whole new reality being manifested. So, no thank you to the past. It said, I just want to thank you. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, it's alarming when the star card comes out in reverse. It's alarming when it comes out in reverse. Hmm. This person, whoever betrayed you for another energy, is realizing that they chose the wrong energy. This person is not a star. This queen of cups that they choose over you is not a star, obviously. So this person made a decision to betray the same person that betrayed you. For some of you, this is a friend that betrayed you. And now they're going through some type of disappointment and ending. Someone thought they were going to receive an opportunity or some type of abundance that belonged to you. And they're going through disappointment. It's that, uh, you're not a star. This this gift, this abundance is for the star. You're not. You're not healing. You're not a healer. You're not positive. You're pretentious. You're toxic. You're trying to be out here pretending like you are gifted and things like that, but you're not. You're out here pretending like you're nurturing, but you're not. Trying to stand your ground and everything. Keep pretending to be something you're not. Mm-mm. Like you're trying to defeat someone and steal from them what belongs to them. It's not happening. So, like someone is upset because they're not being seen in the energy. They're not this energy. They're upset because people don't see them in this energy, and that's because they're not that energy. You're not. And you can flip over backwards if you want to, but you're not at the end of the day. You're toxic as can be, pretentious. 
you've been pretending to be something so you can receive either a love offer or some type of financial abundance and it's not being given to you because your character is exposed you're not a healer you're someone vindictive is what i'm hearing You don't want the star receiving their opportunity. You don't want things going in favor of this star. If there's a court proceeding going on, you and other people are trying to interfere with this court proceeding so that it doesn't go in the favor of this star. But it will. It will. You're exposed. You are exposed. Yeah, you are exposed. You all did this because you didn't want two people coming together. You didn't want someone having a genuine uh, love connection, two people coming together. This is why you all were so stern. But it's a tower. It's still coming together. It is still coming together. You, like, there's someone that just... Someone wants to have a love connection with someone that does not want to have a love connection. And they betray, oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Someone betrays someone's love. Like they betray a genuine connection. There's a masculine that betray a genuine connection and he's living to regret that because it's not coming back around. The past is not returning, basically. There's going to be no reconciliation. Like, they want to reconcile with you. Someone wants to reconcile with you, but they can't. They can't. This could be someone you dated. It's what I'm hearing. Like, someone wants to reconcile with you, but they cannot. You're like you're about to be up in a whole new connection, a whole new connection. Yeah, a whole new connection that's going to be prosperous. You're you're going through some type of growth, acceleration, lots of new positive energy in your life, new opportunities, things like that. You have a new beginning in love that people have been trying to end, but they cannot. People may have been trying to send the past towards you for some of you, but they cannot. You don't, you're not interested in the past. You don't have any fun memories of the past. And for some of you, because they know they can't send the past in towards you to cause you illusions now, they may try to send someone new and you're, that's not going to work either. That's not going to work because you can see right through people. You can see right through them. It's like, I see you, peekaboo. I see you. You're going to see them. I'm telling you, you're going to see this person for who they are. They're going to come in acting like they are all calm. And you say, uh-uh, I know what's in there. I know what's under there. It's a beast under there. But you start, you collective... You took the initiative to move forward with life. You kept your peace. You kept your calm. Someone sees you as very brave and strong. You had the tenacity to make it through all of these obstacles people set for you. Your victory, you overcame your enemies. I didn't realize this was on the bottom. You overcame your enemies because of your strength. You had the strength to keep pushing forward. People didn't think you were going to make it through a situation they were all setting up. It's one thing when something happens naturally, a disaster happens naturally. But when there are hands in the hands of the, in the, uh, uh, in the act of that disaster happening, like people are, are actually causing that disaster to happen, you are meant to survive that disaster because it's not natural. It's one thing for an earthquake to happen, right? And your house sinks in. God forbid that happens to any of you. It's one thing. That's natural disaster. But it's something else when someone goes and plants something somewhere to cause destruction to your house. That's not natural. There's, that's interference. Someone doesn't want something to go your way, so they take actions to cause endings, but they're doing it from behind the scenes to make it look natural. But it's like... Um, 
I don't know who you're hiding from, but my ancestors can see you. The Most High can see you. And you best believe there's someone in your camp that can see you and will be exposing the truth. You think you have your behind cover in every way, shape, and form, but you're done. The Most High will always intervene. The truth will always be revealed. That's divine intervention for the truth to always be revealed. Balance. So why you are moving forward, collecting, having a brand new passionate beginning in love? I'm telling you, honey, elevation and all of that. Your enemies are going through endings. And they're hiding it. I've been hearing that a lot. The word desperation, hiding, has been coming out a lot. Someone is living in fear. They're throwing some type of temper tantrum because things are not going in their favor. And other people in the group are pissed off. Let them be pissed off. You didn't pick a fight with them. They pick a, picked a fight with you. This battle is over, but the war is just beginning. It, it is just beginning. And your victory is in short. You're still going to be receiving your promotion. You've been found innocent, is what I'm hearing. You've been found innocent. After your, uh, 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 after your higher, le your not higher level, well, higher level so much. After your divine counterpart betray you for money, they're now finding out. They're now finding out that you are innocent of something you were accused of. You're innocent. You've been innocent the whole time. Can you imagine how devastating that would be to betray your partner? Based off of a lie. Based off of a lie. And then to find out that someone told you that a child was yours and it turns out that the child was not yours, was not yours, right? And they just did that so that they could have some type of connection to you because you're wealthy or something like that. Or they just don't want you going to your actual counterpart. That they want to trap you. I can only imagine the remorse this person is going through, the disappointment, the anxiety they're going through to find out that they betrayed the wrong person only to end up being trapped because they accepted some type of bribery from a third party as well to cause some type of ending, block some type of reconciliation. This is what people have been doing behind the scenes. Trying to steal someone's uh, uh, stability, shake you up, block any type of new beginnings for you, trying to bind you to situations, keep you living in fear and anxiety, nightmares, keeping secrets and things like that from you, blocking your wish fulfillment, all kinds of stuff, not wanting you to reap your harvest, not wanting you to have any genuine connections and things like that, not wanting you to be able to move on with your life, be able to work or anything. But that's exactly what's going to be happening. You are going to have what is yours. And your enemies will be serving their karma, eating their humble pie as they witness you elevating. They're going to witness you elevate and prosper, defeating them. Some of thought you were dumb, but they're finding out you're smarter than every one of them. Some of thought you were dumb, but they're finding out not, not, not so much. Not exactly. It was a miscalculation on their part. It was a miscalculation on their part. They, they trapped themselves. They have trapped themselves. People have money issues going on. Someone is throwing a fit, still wanting to hold what belongs to another person. They cannot come in and gaslight you. I'm telling you. They cannot come in and gaslight you. I want to read this card. Out of touch with reality, unrealistic, being lazy, unreliable, discouragement, moody, emotional, creativity, creativity disorder. That's who they chose over you. <laughs> That's who they chose over you. And you are moving on. 
You're moving on. Someone is finding out you're the one with the power. You're the one with the creativity. You're the innovative one. You're the one with the connection to source. And they've effed up royally. So they betrayed you for no reason. They brought you problems for no reason. You brought peace to someone and they said, I don't want peace. I want problem. Always. And source said, oh, as you wish. As you wish. Now they can't come in and gaslight you, pretend like they want to fix things with you. Someone effed up royally. You want problems? We'll give you problems. Don't worry. Okay. Someone was so desperate to be seen in an energy that's not theirs. They are exposed and they're throwing fits behind the scene. Moody as can be. I am the collective. I am the one with the spiritual gift. You say, okay, really? Read this spread for us. I'm just going to use Tara as an example, folks. Read this for us. We want you to do a reading. We want you to predict something. Uh, um, um, let me come right back. I have to go use the bathroom. Okay, go use the bathroom. Sis is, sis is in there for like 30 minutes trying to get herself together. Trying to look online on Yahoo, Google, YouTube. What does the Seven of Cups mean? What does the Five of Pentacles mean? What is the Fool? What is the Eight of Swords? What does it mean when the Fool comes before the Eight of Swords? And then they come out and they're reading. Is that, uh, yeah, I don't think so. Absolutely not. That. I'm going to take that. We got to go get this back to who it belongs to. No, I am the collective. I'm just having a hard day, okay? That's why I'm having a hard time reading my cards. Is that, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you believe it, we believe it. If you love it, we love it. And that karmic is there singing in her head, I'm going down. Because I am the realm. And found out I'm going down. Something's wrong with my mind. Whoever caught, I, there's someone that, that you get on my platform. <laughs> And you have some you have a problem with my mind. You think like I'm retarded or something, sir. You have to be right. Cause sometimes the stuff that comes out is just that Cynthia, what in the world is going on with you? Yeah, you, you have to be right, sir. I'm with you on that one. <laughs> you you don't tell people I'm retarded and, and everything. I think you're right, sir. I think you're right. Source, what is your advice? For us, what would you like us to be aware of today? Thank you. That man be like, she's retarded. Nothing she says makes sense. Look, 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 look. Why would someone let that come out of their mouth? Say, sir, thank you. You're possibly right. Five ten completion one. Okay, it says substantial change is in your future. Embrace the change, a need to overcome your insecurities and let go of your fears. I am evolving. Hallelujah to that. We're always evolving and should always be trying to evolve. 22. It said you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships of all kinds. You have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. I am harmonious. You know, this card comes out quite a lot. I want to do another one. That card comes out a lot. So there's actually, there's definitely something in there that we need to be aware of. 
Taurus, what is your advice for us? I know you already gave us two, but we would like another one because we're extra around here. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'll do those. Now you got stuck in my hand somehow. Okay, 88. Uh, you are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which bring financial and material abundance into your life. I am wealthy. Hallelujah. We are claiming that. Hallelujah. We are living for the Lord. We are living for the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 23.5, okay. You have a zest for life and you are eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. I am adventurous. Let's adapt that mindset, okay? Thank you all for watching. Stay blessed and I will see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.